See, lust is never satisfied. Lust will make you leave out the bed with your wife and go look for another woman. Oh, it's quiet in here. Lust will make you leave out the bed with your husband and go roam in the street trying to find another man. Because it's not satisfying. If you, don't, if, you, if you don't be careful of the spirit of lust, you'll find men who never had a desire for another man. But see, lust has no gender. Lust has no race. It has no color. And men who've always been men, if they entertain the spirit of lust, they'll find themselves being men on the down low. Yeah. See, nowadays, we only talk about the sisters that twist the hips. But now some of y'all look like Hercules and sound like Janice. Oh, y'all quiet in here. Shaba. Y'all women, you better see God before you marry these men. Y'all quiet in here. You better make sure God told you to be with him because he'll leave out your bed and be poking some other man in his behind. You better ask God who the y'all quiet in here. See, I tell it like it is. We got a whole lot of booty bandits, Pokemon sissies in the church, but God still got some real men that got a backbone that rather fight than switch. But not some of y'all men rather switch than fight. Y'all quiet in here. Y'all want me to preach on something else, don't y'all? <laughs> Sit down, I'm done. I'm done, it's late. Getting late in the evening. The sun is almost down. Lust! It's a powerful spirit. Make you go after stuff that you know don't belong to you. What spirit got you making you want another man's wife? What's wrong with you? Got you wanting another woman's husband? Holy Ghost got me on this. What's wrong with you? Wives, submit unto your own husband. And some preachers won't tell you this, women. What I'm finna tell you. Oh, y'all not gonna like me. Some preachers and pastors won't tell you this, but you don't have no business submitting to your pastor more than you do your husband. Oh, it's quiet in here, yeah, yeah. You do everything your pastor say, but don't do what your husband say, and wonder why your husband won't come to church. Oh, you're quiet. Yeah, because you're making your pastor look bad because you won't submit to your husband. And I don't care if he ain't saved. The unbelieving husband is sanctified by the belief. My God, I'm in the book. I don't care if you don't like my preaching. I got Bible to back up what I say. Go home and read the seventh chapter of 1 Corinthians. Imagine effortlessly generating a passive side income or even a full-time income with minimal time and capital investment.